Well, yeah, I'm feeling good about this thing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Yes, as you might not be, as you might or may not be able to tell, I screwed up on OBS once. I accidentally closed it out somehow. Let me just double cheerful check. Yep, there we are. Okay, we're good. We're golden. So, I'm feeling pretty good about the carpenter. I'm thinking we can get that done today. I'm just going to need a lot more heavy engineering blocks. Well, I'm going to need one more heavy engineering block, but th that's effectively a lot. So I'm going to need four more of those pistons, which means I'm going to need two more of those light engineering blocks. Which I'm going to want to make more than two. I'm really going to need to go, you know what? Screw it. Let's go get a bunch of those copper blocks from one of the ships. And let's just smelt them all into gears. Because the loot chests have not been availing up as much as uh, I think they should. So, let's just hit a nice little mining ship and let's get a bunch of copper. That seems to be the real solution here. The question is going to be, can we find a ship that we haven't already stripped the copper out of? Hmm. Have I hit this one already? For its copper? Ah, oh, this is always lovely. When you can continue the sprint swim without breaking the, uh... Or, or when you can break the surface and get air without breaking your sprint swim. Yes, yes. That's how words work. Yeah, it looks like we got the copper out of this one, so... Not... Why ain't you there? So I guess next we should try... Take that off. We should try... Um, yeah, I guess that one would be the next closest. And that one's probably completely untouched, isn't it? I should mark this one somehow. Just so I don't come back to it. I want to mark it differently than, like, if it was mined out, but still something distinctive. Hmm. Maybe if I climb up on here and, like, carve a... Like... So... Can I see that on Journey Map okay? Where am I? Yeah, well, it's backwards. Oh, well. That was meant to be just a C, but it, it, it's, a, it's a thingy. It's a thingy of marking. It's good enough. Really, I suppose I should know by now which way around the map reads, but, uh, you learn new things all the time, I guess. Hmm. But yes, if we get a ton of gears, build up those light engineering blocks. Really, if I can find a way to build up a solid supply of those, then that's most of the difficulty done, because the heavy engineering blocks are made out of pistons, which are made out of those. And with heavy light and redstone blocks all just... If I can get a nice stockpile of them together on a relatively easy basis, then... Then, yeah. We'll have a lot of industrial in immersive engineering opened up to us. And I see no reason to deviate from the usual strategy here. Just kind of strip out the sides, light the whole place up a little bit. Ah, baby zombos. Lovely. Or, as I like to call them, target practice. Yes, I am fairly proud of how well this bow is turning out. Debating on what I want 
to put my final arrow modifiers into. Because, yeah, I don't have a super high amount of ammo. A diamond might be nice. On the other hand, just putting both modifiers into quartz give me the highest damage possible. That also has an appeal to it. And unlike tool parts, I can't take modifiers back. Once they're on, they're on. I'm honestly a little underwhelmed with how Mending Moss has gone. Not sure if I'll pick it again in the future. Well, I suppose that I could just keep it in my hand for now until it's fully repaired. Just because we passively tend to find lots of experience orbs around. Case in point. But yeah, I'm not sure if those two shots that I just spent on the zombie will be regenerated by the mending moss there. It's kind of dependent on our uh, copper tool rods to be repaired in the field. Hmm. Then again, I think that the effectiveness of Mending Moss is partially determined by the weapon's durability. So maybe if we put a diamond on it, then its repair will get more efficient. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd pretty much need to take out that whole upper layer in order to make this more effective than it is. But we can find other means of uh, defeating the dark. There we go. And just bit by bit light up that central innards of the ship. And from here, we should have a fairly good bet that uh, the place is relatively safe. It's not a cowardly strategy, it's an effective strategy. The difference is that I'm the one who wins. That's more than sufficient. Hmm. This is awfully close to an ocean monument. Am I at risk of getting dinged? I will be so mad if I get dinged. Let's just keep away from there if we can. Okay, still a few red dots on here. But of course much less than we would have to deal with otherwise. We've discovered the ore hatch. Where is the end of it? Oh, did we not dig through to this lair? Neat. Oh boy. And I should have built just a stack of torches. Oh well, we're only here for the copper anyway. It doesn't matter if we don't exactly fully save the area, just so long as we get the goods and get out. <laughs> they can't handle the ladders. Neat. Missed one.
Okay, and let's get out of here. And just like that, we're all done here. I believe that my base is well north and west. I should have marked that ship. I should have marked that ship with a C. Oh well. It's in the past now. I could just keep the marker on it. Rename it something. And it... Uh, copper... Taken. And just disable it for now. Reduce visual confusion. Hmm. So I've decided that my plan to make a crusher and start mining up the ships is possibly a little bit dumb. I've found a... Uh, Presuming that my testing holds true and that uh, my worlds are consistent in what the immersive engineering resources are, I've discovered a nice vein of uh, mixed copper and lava right near my base. Hmm, bauxite? Anyway, yeah. So I think that will be... I'll just push for an excavator relatively soon and that will be that will be the point that we at post scarcity when i can just uh mine up that nice vein of copper and have it auto smelting maybe i'll make an auto crafter for gears there too because we will need to make a diesel industry before that before that excavator Simply because you need a diesel generator in order to power it. So that's looking like our plan of action is. We'll finish our carpenter here just for the sake of getting better storage together. Hmm. That's really looking like... Like... Recent pollution, unless it's just drifted back this way. Hmm. So first, first the carpenter, just to have a better storage system set up. Maybe to make a bag if I can. Or a backpack. What do those require? That's just the carpenter. Water. Oh, impregnated stick. That's going to require seed oil. So I need to make a squeeze or two. So that'll wait a little bit. Um, yeah, keep the bone. And after... After we get the after we get the carpenter together, upgrade our storage system, then I will start pushing for the oil industry. Speaking of oh wait, fancy pants. Get in there, please. So do we wanna make four gear casts? Hmm. You know, if I take one of the copper blocks out, it will smelt evenly. No, oh, wait, no, it won't. Oh, wait, yes, it will. They, they're four. It takes four ingots to make a gear. Okay, so then I'm going to need a few more bits of gold. That is a wonderful excess, as usual. And yeah, let's burn a few of these cheaper gears. And there you go. Eh, let's... Let's make a full separate four. We're gonna need two more. Oh, I just threw all the gold in there, didn't I? Oops. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I can't make casts out of this one? Darn. I 
can't make casts out of this one. But that's what I made this initial cast out of it, didn't I? Iron, iron, iron. Yeah. It made the... So then, is this not set to gold? Yeah, I forgot to set it to gold. That's the problem. Derp. That's better. So we will, in fact, be getting a few gold gears out of this cast, which, oh well. We'll just resmelt those when they come out, I guess. And just like that, got a whole new recipe lined up for the bulk smelter. Now, with 24 blocks, all into gears. Get me them. Now, this will continue auto smelting just like you expect, even though it takes more than one ingot per, right? And they have a pretty long duration. Yeah. Works just like we expect. Excellent. And da, da, da. pour everything out of here. Get some more going. Can I just put a hopper on top and load that up with cobble? And if I then just leave that smelting, will that eventually produce a full tank of lava in this thing? Because I noticed that it has some space left over. Like it doesn't it doesn't seem to fill itself on just a single stack of eight cobble even though that's the most it can load at once so if i just leave that in there like that will that pile up really high and have me a nice huge tank of lava in that thing mysteries Science, progress, buzzwords. These are some things that are coming out of my mouth right now. We're already working our way beautifully through that copper. And that's probably more than enough to make what we need at the moment. Okay, so let's make two crafts of the uh, light engineering blocks. Those just use the one redstone, right? Yeah, and then we'll need 16 of these wonderful new gears of ours. How you doing? You know what? I am going to switch you off of bulk mode now that you're mostly done. And I'm going to put you just back on uh, ingots. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to waste that gold. I guess that means I could just put the remaining copper block in there. Because we want that to be smelted anyway. There you go. Okay. Okay. And I believe I would need... Uh, da, da, da. Numbers have fallen out of my head. Eight per, so yeah, 16 of these. Then four of those and 12 of those. And that should do it. with some years of spare, simply because I took them all out of... Yes. All right, so four of those, four of those. 
I need to buy some more cobble. Is it nighttime out? It probably is. Interrupting those villagers' sleeps left and right. You are just stuck in there, ain't you? I hope you have fun with that. Oh, right. I need to sell them some iron, don't I? Let's, let's sell them a good chunk of iron. Let's see if we can get them to advance their walls a little bit. Why not? Let's just grab, like, I don't know, that many iron blocks. I probably should start smelting these into ingot. Well, no. With the amount of iron that I need, it's more convenient to keep them as as uh, block stock and then just order mass smelting orders in the smeltery when I'm changing them to components. And when I need just a small amount of bars, this being a small-ish amount of bars, just hit it on the anvil. If I need if I need a truly massive amount of bars, then I can mass smelt it relatively quickly. Okay. Yep, I was right. They need iron. Well, have a nice stock of iron. You enjoy that. And uh, yes, I wanted cobble. A goodly connection of collection of cobble. And no reason to bother flipping windows. We are past that peasantry. We have advanced cheese on our side. Really, there isn't much reason for me to upgrade the village to full. It's kind of just a pride thing at this point. Mechanically, I think they're already providing everything they can to me. But I mean, why not? It's an occasional resource sink. Yeah, mechanically, once they build the glass blower, there really isn't much more reason to invest in the village. Okay, what the heck was I doing? I was working my way up to the carpenter. And to do that, I was working my way up to the pistons. And I bought way too much cobblestone, probably. Yeah, that's still going strong. And it's filling up a little bit. Well, let's empty it out a little bit. We might as well try and fill up those, uh, those workshops. Why not? How are you doing? You're doing pretty good. A little bit of bar stock of gold. Okay, carpenter, which I need pistons for. I need more pistons than this for, in fact. But I need electrum. Hmm. I don't have much in the way of silver to make electrum. By the way, I noticed something when I was making that electrum. If I, I just do that in the smeltery, was that causing me to lose some metal. There it is, molten. One to one makes okay, I wasn't I wasn't suffering any losses. I was just being crazy. Okay, do, do I have any electrum left in the output here? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. But I should go hunting for a Galena vein pretty soon. That's what I built that prospector for, I remember now. But we don't need it quite quite yet. We just need this, 
this to make that. And from there, we can take those with those and four of those and eight steel, okay? I really should have made the steel in the bar stock by default. Not that one, that one. Thank you. Now we just need four more pistons, which is going to take a little bit more of this. And then it would be 12 of this and four of this, right? Huzzah, I'm starting to memorize the numbers. Sure. Those craft into piston. Goody goody. And from there, we just need some bronze, bronze ingots, which we can just get some out of here. Yep. That's yeah, easy enough to do. Have I smelted any already? That's also. Yeah, I can't make use of that anyway, so. Yeah, you should have space in there. Excellent. And smolt. Cast in this case, I suppose. I cast Magic Missile at the Darkness. I cast bronze indigates at the lack of industry. And three, six, twelve. I need twelve of those. And then just two glass and two redstone parts. Okay. I had some glass in storage, didn't I? Not much. I made some Tinker's Clear Glass at some point, didn't I? Did that work? Let's find out. With that... Aha! We have the Carpenter. Huzzah! Okay. Now all we need to do is we need to power it up. So for that, we're going to need to take the kinetic dynamo that we <clears throat> acquired, the windmill that we acquired, and then we're going to need to figure out where we want to mount it and how we want to use it. So this is kind of turning into, the, we're, we're turning the base like more technologically advanced as we go down this way, kind of. So. We'll probably want to mount it, like, somewhere up on there. Like, maybe right... Nya. In which case... Hmm. 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 Well, regardless. We'll put the carpenter, I guess, over here in the meantime. But yes, I need to make some LV connectors and relays, I guess. Along with some LV wire. Yes, yeah, right there. And this should be all relatively simple. Yeah. Ah, good. I can make it like that with copper plates. Excellent. 
let's just uh, switch this back to plate mode. a little bit of our bar stock of copper. And reshape reality to our will. As you do. Grab a stack of building blocks. So. Want the windmill somewhere on this side, I'm feeling. It's kind of facing into the eastward sea breeze anyway. Yeah, that, that works. We'll go with that excuse. Here's the rough center of the base. It should be on the border of these two chunks. Yeah. So I was off in my placement on the inside. If we care about centering it in any case. Yeah, so maybe like right here? Hmm. Now that, of course, means that we'll have to we'll have to make a pass through. Hmm. We'll have to stop the game from lagging too. No, you know what I could do. I could instead of doing that. Did I pick up the staircases? Yeah, just so that I don't mess up my spawnable space here. Hmm. Just the two staircases, I need three. Oh boy. Did I save any of the staircases from that project? Hmm, yeah, there they are. But yes, once I make those LV connectors, what I could do is... What was that? Was that a weeping angel? Let's turn it to daytime. Just to prevent anything spawning while we've messed up our roof. Uh, yes. Those LB connectors, those are relatively simple. Can I, how do I make terracotta anyway? Is that just in a kiln? Yeah, kiln. Alright, sweet. So let's... I need to hunt down more clay pretty soon. Hmm. You know what it must be? It must be that we're getting we're getting um, ambient sounds because we've opened up the walls in here. That must be it. Wait, not in there. In there. Beautiful. All right. So then I can take. These, it was just the two, right? No, it's the three. And if I take them into the LV connectors, good, we do get a nice collection of them. Now, the question is, if I put a connector here, and then a connector on the other side... Will I get a pass-through on these fancy factory blocks? I need my engineer's hammer for that. That's another thing I want this carpenter for, kind of. So that when I make those bags, I can have a, like, a tool bag, so I don't need to be stowing my lesser-used tools. Just to keep a clean inventory. Okay, so where did we put that pass through attempt? Over Nya. So then if I put this here, then I should be able to boop it with a hammer. Aha! Yes! Now, it has unfortunately disconnected it from the connected texture, but this should mean that um, any wire 
we connect to this one, we'll just transfer over to this one. And it'll even give us a little bit of free insulation out of the bonus, too. And that should allow us to uh, very prettily input things into our base without breaking a hole in the wall. And I guess for now, just make a nice dirt pillar for our windmill. Like, here. Bit too high. Yeah, so if we... Right there. And then... We can uh, put this right here. That makes it unspawnable. And this right now. And then all I need to do is run a wire from here to here, and I have power inside my base. Excellent. I forgot that I haven't made wire yet. Excellent. That should be resolved by now, I imagine. Yes. If I just remember to turn the smeltery on. There we go. Not yet. You're not done yet. Yeah, those hoppers are a little bit slow. But what you gonna do? Hmm. Ah, you filled up. Okay. Hello? You said... Oh, hammer, solderer, pliers. Hammer, solderer, pliers. So, why you know? Oh, shears. Hammer, shears, pliers. I gotcha. So then, do they need to be shears, shears? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Always out of iron when you... Well, I just sold a bunch to the Normans, that's why I'm out. <laughs> well, that's an easy fix, thankfully. And then, if I just dupe... There we go. We can just keep those right there. And from there, I just need some sticks. And that will get us that. Nice, nice, easy peasy wire that we can start just running all over the place in big, ugly piles. Not some building blocks, right? So from there, we just uh, run this over. Nya to nya. Aha. And now we should have power inside the base that we can run over to our carpenter. With no broken walls, just a broken connecting texture. And you know, with the little power nipple right there, it's not even really noticeable. It just kind of looks... Honestly, it kind of looks neat. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to make that many LV connectors just for a cool-looking thing. Not just for aesthetics. For now, we'll just connect it directly, but eventually we're going to want to make a relay line down. And yes, notice how the... Uh, you might notice that it's a slightly different color from the line outside. 
That's because this is an automatically insulated one. Oh, it should be automatically insulated. Well, don't touch power lines. That's the lesson here. Uh, okay. It needs a recipe before it'll start building up power. Well, we have a recipe we'd like to try. I don't want to just cart over a bunch of buckets. Hmm. Can I make a better barrel? It's called a metal barrel? Yeah, yeah, okay. That's a bunch of iron sheet metal. Okay. That's just some iron plate. Oh, I have enough that I can burn a little bit on a, a on a luxury project. And then I think I should just be able to yep, slib. And then like that I believe was the pattern. Dang, they're heavy. Okay. Now, I believe I should be able to fill this really quickly if I dig a block down like that and put that down there. Then I should just be able to... Is that working? Or am I emptying it out from that? Hmm. Do I need to go another block down, maybe? One block down, Aqua Dynamic. I said one block down. No. Not working out to be quite as luxury as I was hoping. Oh well. Oh well. We'll just kind of fill this the slightly less luxury way. I could just make a new water source over there too. But eh, I think we'll we'll just have a collection of barrels ready to be Ah, this thing only holds 12. I thought it hold, held like 32. But yeah, we'll just have a collection of barrels full of fluids ready to use for the carpenter over here. Until we start... This will be like the personal use carpenter. So it'll kind of have to have a million different fluids available to it. When I start getting into more mass automation, I'll have to have like a million carpenters for a million specific things. But for now, this will do. And yes, I believe that now I should just be able to take some iron nugs. I don't... It's kind of hard to craft these into nuggets right now, isn't it? Like, iron nug. Yeah. I'd have to hammer it. Well... Yeah, yeah, I'd have to take one of my iron shards and then hammer it on the anvil with a pickaxe? No, with a hammer. That's a bit of a pain. So, let's make one more mast casting pattern. And take out only the gold we need this time instead of just mindlessly throwing in however much gold we had in our pocket at the time. What are you doing? Yeah, that went through a fairly good stack of cobble. And it only stopped because I lost track of it instead of emptying it out from time to time. Hmm.
If there was some sort of redstone it emitted when it was loaded up with something, then that's potentially automatable right there. Yeah, that's kind of crazy thought anyway. It's more convenient to track down just like... Just like a source of lava to dig up with a pump jack rather than building it on site. If I need lava for something like an automated smelter. Okay. Now, build me a whole bunch of chests, please. Like, that many, sure. Hmm. I imagine the arrows have gone through their tank of XP by now, repairing themselves. Sure, let's uh, line up at least the other half of the recipe. So the way the carpenter works is you program in the recipe in this thing up here with a ghost item, and then you, you provide those items to the uh, inbuilt storage as well as the fluid it needs. Yep. And it's as simple as that. Now we have a bunch of chests. And doesn't that feel glorious? So you know what that means? That means it's time for the good old logistics shuffle. That's right. It's time to build us a whole new storage system. Tear down the old, out with the old, and with the new. Oh boy, I know that's the action you just salivate for. That's the hot logistics action that this channel is built on. I know. Well, it's that time. It is that time again because the Pyrotech storage solution has worked out wonderfully, but uh, should be more than that. Yeah, it is more than that. What's the matter? Oh, it must be that it's slightly too fast for these. Okay, so the system ain't perfect after all. Well, I don't mind sitting here flipping a lever a little bit. Not when I need uh, nuggets relatively infrequently. There we go. Yep. I, I'm surprised that the pyrotech chests have worked as well as they have, but it's reaching the limitations of the system. If I build it much bigger, then we're going to be taking up a huge amount of floor space at the base, and then what's the point of me building it out of concrete in the first place? As well as it's just going to get more of a pain to, look, to work through. It's causing a bunch of objects to render, which eventually is going to cause memory and lag problems. It's just... Uh, it's not built for the largest of the large scale. So it is time to just get a big bunch of old-fashioned Minecraft chests and make ourselves a wall of them. But yes, this is a nice confirmation that we do in fact have power coming into the base now. It even gives that window a bit of a view, too. That's nice. And maybe I won't need that many, but eh, you can never have enough chests on hand, you know? It's just a kind of... It, it's a principle thing. So let's empty out our inventory as much as we can. I'm going to need my axe, but I don't think I'm going to need any other tools right now. Yeah, I'm. Well, I will eventually need the chisel, just not yet. Let's. Yeah, no, let's just put that over in one of these, I guess. Where's a completely empty one? 
it's close to empty. There we go. Well, that's something that should go back in the chest anyway. There we go. And this is also something that will eventually go in a chest. Whereas that is just trash. Okay, so let's start digging things up. So first, I guess I'm just going to put down a few chests and... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, that should hopefully hold everything. And just start, uh, just start moving it into them, and we'll sort it out later. No, I can't click and hold the input. Darn. This will also give us an idea of how many different types of items, how much storage space we're going to need in total. I mean, obviously we're going to be building more than we need for raw storage just for sorting purposes, but... Uh, oof. Immediately. Yeah, blocks kind of suck, don't they? You know what, let's... There. What am I holding? Oh. That would do it. Yeah, granite is ridiculously heavy. There we go. Oh, I had some nuggets on me already. I didn't need to hammer to make the cast. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, it feels kind of bittersweet doing this, you know? This storage system has served me so surprisingly well. But uh, we need better. We need to do better. And with Project Red in the pack, having a big collection of chests will help with that, too. Project Red has a thing that will eventually allow me to network them together. It's very expensive, but I could be doing it now. But yes, I, I think the practical applications of that will be waiting until we have uh, full automation of some of the things that it's going to require, unfortunately. Okay, a little bit, a little bit got dropped on the floor there. But we got most of it. We got most of it. Okay. So. Let's start sorting. So like I was saying, it looks like we're kind of going from more technological to, neck to less technological from the right to left side of our bases. So let's kind of build our industrial chest like right here-ish. This will be the industrial whatever stack of chests so that that coke i guess eh, da, 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 da. other coal coke i guess nano machine frame sure uh, those 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 okay so let's put the Immersive engineering stuff in there. The more intermediary parts in here. And 
like base goods and miscellany down here. I ain't filled up enough space in this that I can just offload all the random crap in my inventory yet. Not yet. Ah, the engineer's manual. Definitely want to keep that somewhere in there. Or over here or something. Hmm. What else? What else? What else? Ah, those. Uh, is that really all of our kind of high industrial stuff? That shows how new this era is, I guess. Yeah, I'll call these a miscellany. You know what? We can just throw out the little bits and bobs there. Yeah. And I guess we'll just put down another miscellany chest. Just to completely clean out our inventory. I don't even need both of them. I can just lay out the one right there. Yeah, that works. Good. That feels better. Now, let's fill in this hole in the floor that I keep falling into. There we go. <laughs> it looks so janked. Where did Chisel go? We have a use for it now. Let's see, let's start with that. Right, and that's mosaic. Where is mosaic? Da, 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 da. Come on, where is it? I probably passed it by like three times and you're all yelling at me, I'm sure. There it is. There we go. That's better. like it never even happened. You know, maybe we should move those chests a bit forward back to where the back to where the storage floor used to be. Like right about Nia. Right about Nia. That's seriously the only thing in there. There we go. Hmm. Do I have anything that I could use to mark these chests? Like a frame? An item frame, maybe? Mm. Why are you lagging so bad, game? Ah, oh, fancy item frame. Okay, what does that cost? That costs nothing. Sweet. And you even say it's fancy. Well, how can I say no? Are you still set to ink to nugget? Sweet. Come on. Yep, our ventilation system is uh, still slow but effective. There you go. 
Just when I was saying I rarely, if ever, need nuggets, huh? Has to go and prove me wrong. Like, it's definitely getting a couple of them each time before it bugs out. Yeah. There we go. And from there, I just need a bit of obsidian. If I can find where I put it. I might need to go grab some more. Wait, no, I had a... There it is. And then that was in here, right? Yeah. Okay. And how... Eh, that kind of takes up the entire side. Hmm. It does look fancy, though. It certainly looks very fancy. Okay. And then, like, uh... Yeah, sure, I'll waste a redstone block on it. Just a... Yeah, okay, okay. And then if I have another row like here... Yeah, that's convenient enough access. That's functional. Might even be able to put some crafting down the center lanes here, maybe. Maybe. Eh... Maybe not. In any case, let's kind of move our plates down into there. We'll call these, of course, intermediaries. Wait, I should have a bunch of mechanical components that should go in there, too. Yeah, and there's some Okay, I, I, I was just being blind, not finding everything inside these big old miscellany chests. I'm sure we'll be digging them out as we pare it down bit by bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this... I want this to be my metals row, I think, because we're using metals fairly frequently. So let's make... Uh, the bottom one, like, blocks of metal. There we go. There we go. And, of course, the next one will be ingots. No, I, I better make them all out of the same metal. And we'll continue our kind of vague definition of ingots into this system. And the last one, I guess, will be shards, nuggets, and whatever other metal-y bits. Oh, and ore. Yeah, or it needs or to hmm. Well really I shouldn't ever be storing much in the way of ore. Neat. But I guess that on the occasion that we're just being lazy about smelting or we're holding it for alloying or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, we'll also include bone shards in there. It's kind of just intermediary crafting products, I guess, really. Not seeing... I guess emerald. Yeah. 
Okay. Next row. I guess this will be kind of the pyrotech row. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. So, da, 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 da. Yeah, is that bottom one? That should definitely be stuff like uh, masonry bricks. That's not really pyrotech. Hmm. Oh, iron nuggets. We'll put that up in there. Uh, da, 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 da. What do I have that's pyrotech? Log piles are technically pyrotech. Mm. Those, those, those. We'll, we'll include the sticks in that because they're kind of used for a lot of pyrotech crafting. Refractory bricks, definitely. Glue, yeah. We'll include slime in there because slime is essentially pre-glue. Here's some more ingots that I missed. There's some more blocks that I missed. We'll call glowstone an ingot. I guess that makes it lock. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so you can tell that I'm I'm being very uh very technical and precise with my with my sorting system here. Yes. Absolutely no screwing around with with what this is. Yeah, this is all scientifically accurate. Yeah, we'll just call this kind of like the intermediary bits. No, you know what? We, we can make this the refractory. The refractory layer. Yeah. Kind of refractory bricks and adjacent products. And that would make this highest layer kind of like the base miscellany. Yeah. Hmm. With, I guess, the middle layer being more refined products. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I guess. In a way. Flint. Why do I have flint in this collection? I guess it's because... Flint is used for making flint clay. Yeah. So that's adjacent to refractory bricks-ish. And then, unfortunately, I kind of misplaced these chests one space forward. All right, I have this this additional miscellany here. And call that base. Call that base. As well as the ash blocks, which are just a deeper storage of the same. We'll just... Yeah, we'll keep those just as a legacy, as a reminder. Okay, and we can dispose of this then. Yes, I unfortunately need to move these back. So that I can put in a final row for all of it. There we go. 
I'm also going to need to make one more set of uh, fancy frames, I guess. Oof, just item confetti everywhere. Hmm. Oops. Yeah, we go. So now I just need to take some more gold, get some more fancy frames. Because, yes, I do think I like these. And I do like to keep my storage system labeled in one way or another. Usually I just use signs. But this is this is a bit more diegetic. It's a callback to what we came from, having the items just openly on display. There we go. Yeah, it's visually glitching, so I can't tell if it's like, just what is it doing? But it's definitely smelting more than just four at a time per lever fleck. Even more than just six at a time per lever fleck. Yeah, see, it empties out real fast. So that's just glitchy as heck. Which is fine. Make a few too many item frames. We might want to expand the storage system at one point anyway. Okay, so that bottom one I definitely want to be like solid blocks of stone. Let's just grab them all. Yeah, block of quartz, sure. You know, I should put that in metal blocks actually. But definitely the black concrete, sure, those, those, those. Everything from the useful to the miscellaneous. Eh, sure, we'll consider that a construction block. Those, all our cobble. The prismarine, why not? Prismarine, I guess, could be called... No, it's not really a metal block, is it? Eh, anyway, that, that, yeah. That could go into the refractory chest. Yeah, and that's also a pyrotech, but that for sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. And no, and maybe, yeah. Okay, so. We'll just call you a blocks. Get one of the nice pretty diorite blocks to show you off a bit better. I suppose I could put a cobble on there. <laughs> That's kind of the most infamous. Okay. Next. Next, 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 next. I guess a food type chest. Anyway, let's sort the things that we found in the meantime. Hmm. I don't know. That's more of an ingot, isn't it? And those are adjacent to, uh... Yeah, those, those, those. Starting to find all the things that we were missing along the way. Ah, the copper gears. I was wondering where those went. Those. Good. Good, 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 good. There we go. And over here on the pyrotech layer. 
Eh. Eh. Yeah, pulp can go in there. Along with the tool sticks. Just all the tool sticks in here. Ingots. Blocks. Where was I putting? Sure, flint shards can go in there. These are adjacent to the refractory business. These I'm considering an ingot. Just technically. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess this is a building block. Kind of. It's just a more useful one than you would think. Okay. So, next one should be like a farming chest. Including mobs. Sure. Yep. Hmm. Those are pyrotech and those are high tech. Mm. Farming, of course. And not really. Huh, I did have some torches in storage. And no, not really. Mm. Okay, so what to put on here? Wheat. There we go. And finally, I get. Oh, that's farming. As well as that, since I said and mobs. Now, what to call the last one? Not miscellany. Miscellany will be what we will make the final row entirely dedicated to, I guess. I guess I'll call it just miscellaneous useful things instead of just pure miscellany. Or yeah. Yeah, we'll make it the miscellany chest, what the hell. Just start piling on all the stuff, we'll see if we run out of room. Which we will. Okay, so that is building block. Really call that an ingot. I can't really call. Hmm. I'll just call that crate. Crate miscellany. Come on. Oh, beautiful. What a lovely day it is outside. Where's that thing forming? Right on top of us, it looks like. Oh boy, let's get inside. I wonder if we're safe from this inside. I don't think storms can tear up your base. Regardless, just keep bunging everything. Now let's let's put all the books in one in one chest, yeah. Those are building blocks, those are high tech, that's pyrotech related ish. Okay. Uh. And it's kind of refractory-ish. Yeah, that along with paper. And I have some paper and wool. And well, wool, wool we'll put under farming.
There we go. Yeah, one last row of pure miscellany. This one will be entirely for books. I have two strange journals, so I can use that one. Okay, and finally, the miscellany of the miscellany. And just one extra for luck. I wonder, what happens if I put an item frame in an item frame? Neat. Can I continue? No. Oh, that that's quite pretty, though. Hmm. There we go. Oh, those are, of course, building blocks. And that is more of a... One of these. Okay, there we go. So, we have a bit more space. It's... Honestly, not any better organized right now, I don't think. But <laughs> that's down to just my own stupid brain. And, uh, yeah, it's easily accessible. Easily sort-throughable. And eventually, I'm, I'm probably going to derp for a couple of episodes, not knowing where anything is anymore. But uh, that's just our... That's just the price of industry, isn't it? That's just the price of doing business. Let's make this... Jack o' lantern miscellany. All right. Well, with the power of our new storage system and the carpenter on our side, I think we are lined up for some really great progress down the line. Do we have F9 mode on. Oh no, that's just the village of cheese marker that I was vaguely seeing in the distance through the window there. All right. So. What should be our next goal down the line? Well, we could be working yeah, those generator blocks. Those generator blocks are expensive. That is honestly the big, the big, uh, that's the big thing that's going to prevent us from just immediately getting into the petrol, into the petroleum industry is each of these generator blocks is going to require 12 blocks of steel plus a little extra plus one of these kinetic dynamos, which requires more blocks of steel. Oh, yeah. We need an automated steel plant of some sort. And we need it yesterday if we want to get into the petroleum industry. But unfortunately, in order to get an automated steel plant, we are going to need petroleum already. So we need to grind it up at least once the hard way. Unfortunately. Mm, yeah. And let's just carry that with us too. Unfortunately, I know. Okay, so what should be our next target? We have mass casting of gear, so I don't really need a metal press. Mm, not yet, anyway. I mean, eventually I'll want one just for like rods and other intermediary nibbly bits that immersive engineering uses. I guess I could be working my way towards a pump jack. That is a relatively... A pump jack would be a relatively decent choice for a first... Where is it? Pressure, mixer, squeezer, fermenter, refinery, R furnace. Eh. Is it under a simple machine? It shouldn't be. Power, wires. You know what? Can I just search up pump? There it is. Yep. So, that's not too bad. Steel sheet metal, blocks of steel. Only two heavy engineering blocks, two light engineering blocks, one redstone. So the the uh, functional blocks are not so bad. It needs that treated wooded fence. How do we make treated wood? Hmm. That's just a carpenter recipe with creosote oil. So yes, we did need to make the carpenter before we got into the petroleum industry. So I wasn't entirely off base 
just doing it for my own reasons. It, it, it meshed nicely. But I am going to need specifically this forestry ash. And that I need to make the forestry log piles as well as a burn room for it. And that just takes a little bit of wood and a little bit of glue. Hmm. We should pick up the rest of our stuff from where I abandoned it so callously. Well, that's not too difficult now. I mean, we've made lovely cheap glue with our wonderful blood bank. Hmm. You know, I've been debating on if I should go and uh, go into the forest over on that side of the island and get myself some of those giant sequoias. I think that might be a better wood farming tree than these jungle saplings. Especially since they've begun to creep onto the mainland. Yeah. They spread so cancerously. There's a reason I put you over on the sea. Stay there where you belong. Clearly I was wrong to grant you the respond the uh the privilege of that little plot of grass. And for my hubris, I must now strike you down once and for all. You were the chosen one, jungle trees. You were like my brother. Oh, right, I still have some of those. Okay. What the heck? That was bizarre. Sometimes you're really glad that you're filming. Just to make sure that you're not hallucinating. Okay. So yes, those uh, forestry burns. That is a... Uh, it's essentially identical to the pit burner. It's just that... It's more picky about the blocks. It's like every burn is a refractory burn. It requires specific, specific add-ons. So let's grab our glue and see how many of these we can make. Is there an easy, clear recipe button on here? I guess not. Yeah, I'm going to need to make more glue. But, uh, we need to take these, and we need to make, we need to surround them just like in a pit burn. But we need to surround them with specific blocks, and each one will give us a different amount of products. Now note that this is four logs giving us 12, 13, 15 charcoal. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, for the fact that it costs me glue in this pack, I don't think it's worth it. Simply for the fact that even with cheaper glue, it's, it's, uh, yeah, no. So what I'm really after is this ash. This ash is used in a bunch of things. And more importantly, it's used in making treated wood, which is treated wood is something we're going to need lots and lots of. So the perspective I need to look at it in is what gives me the most ash. So three, two, three, three. It looks like three is the tops. So... Normally, with the forestry charcoal burn, you want to work your way up to these ash bricks because they're very nice. They give you... They actually don't give you the most charcoal. That looks like it's end stone, which we can't even use yet, or end bricks. But, uh, yes. If all I want is the ash, then I don't really need to bother working up to those ash bricks, which aren't even all that expensive. Eh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Because I can't exactly mine up the clay the clay balls on their own, can I? Well, maybe. Maybe if I find a sponge to put on my shovel. Let's let's try that real quick. Let's see if I can find a sponge. I think that 
I think that the way you find sponge is just by punching seagrass, the tall variants of it. I think you occasionally find it in, in the tall seagrass. It's either that or it's a rare drop from one of the little resource loads. Either way, I was wrong to look for uh, just open air sponge blocks at one time. Although I could swear I've seen them in the sea. Hmm. Don't know. Yep, seagrass. Seagrass was the answer. How oh, more quickly I could have resolved things had I known that. Snowball? Okay, why not? Kind of get everything sorted back into more proper slots. Really, I probably need to reduce... Why do I have a bed? You know what? That's fine. We needed to fix that little bit of the floor anyway. Eh, building block. Oh, it's already on there. <laughs> there. And... Yep. And... Uh, yep. There. Now we're extra comfy. Eh, sure. I'll keep a snowball. A singular snowball is not very useful, but... Who knows? Might save our lives one day. Somehow. Hmm. Mechanical compactor. Are snow blocks useful for anything? Kinda. They're part of bees. Ugh. Oh, I should have put this on the table while I was finicking around. It would be faster in this in the furnace, wouldn't it? Furnace don't work. Neat. Hmm. I suppose I can start taking all my recipes off the list there. Although I'm sure that many of them will be reappearing again shortly. So yeah, working our way up to the pump jack. Pump jack, that's what we're doing. Pump jack. We're still on the page, excellent. Yeah, that's steel scaffolding. Is honestly not hard to make. Just needs those steel rods. Can we make those any way other... Yeah, yeah. I think... I think that's actually the same ratio that you would get out of a metal press. Does the metal press even show its recipes on here? Like, if I ask for gear... Gears are one of the things you most frequently make on... No, it just doesn't show up in JEI. Hmm. Well, regardless... Treated wood fence. Not all that difficult to make. Fluid pipes are dead easy to make. Yeah. Uh, red. Yeah, the, the three blocks we already have. Two blocks of steel is easy. Steel sheet metal. Which should... No, that's nickel. But yeah, like all sheet metal is, it should just be four plates of steel. Yeah, there's nothing in the pump jack that's particularly expensive. We should be able to power it a little bit. Oh, we're also going to need a core sample drill. There. 
Yes. We're also going to need one of those, which that is going to be a little bit more of a craft. So I think that's going to be our goal for the next time. Because uh, while I have been doing all the research in my creative world, and while I do think that I should know where everything is, it would be nice to confirm it in this world. So the core sample drill is the immersive engineering tool for uh, every chunk has resources hidden inside of it. Like this chunk might have a vein of barrel and a liquid deposit of magma and this vein, this chunk might have a uh, mineral deposit of hematite and a liquid deposit of enderium or whatever. And the core sample drill is what you use to, to uh, sample and find out what is in what chunk. And you use the pump jack and the excavator to dig it up. The pump jack you've seen already, it's not all that expensive. The excavator is expensive. Yeah, that's, well, not, yeah, but those three radiator blocks, no, radiator blocks aren't that expensive. Oh, no, what's expensive is the power cost of the excavator, yeah. Excavator is not all that expensive to build, but it needs an entire diesel generator all to itself in order to, in order to operate. And a diesel generator takes a lot those four generator blocks and remember how many steel blocks goes into a single generator block yeah as well as 13 heavy engineering blocks they are up there so what's probably going to happen is once i get some basic diesel going i'm probably going to be scrabbling to build one excavator and one diesel generator and I'm going to be moving that around a little bit on some of the more juicy veins and just having it automate me some piles of resources a little bit until I can, you know, build up enough on each of them that I can start building another one. And then I can have two of them running at the same time and eventually we'll have them all covered. But it'll be a bit of a process bootstrapping our way up. But once the bootstrapping process is done, we should be moving fairly quickly. And I think that uh, with Artisan Auto... Yeah, there it is. With Artisan Automation, that's exactly what it sounds like. We should be able to start automating Artisan Tables, as well as the fact that once we have some gasoline from Immersive Petroleum, once we have that first pump jack on an oil well and once we build a refinery for it, then we can start building all the build craft parts, all the build craft pipes, as well as build craft auto workbenches. So once we have petroleum going, once we just have that first pump jack, that first refinery, and what does a refinery take? A refinery, no, not a, not a, not one of those. It's, it's, what's it called? What's it called? Um, it's not a refinery. Oil processing. Oh, that's where the pump jack was. The distillation tower. Yeah, very tall, but it's mostly made out of cheap blocks. It's just a lot of iron sheet metal, and you've seen iron sheet metal is cheap. Yeah, once we have a pump jack, once we have a distillation tower, once we have that first diesel generator going and we have our first excavator going that'll kind of be the uh that'll be the real start of proper heavy industry that'll be when we can start building up to some really grand heights because by then we'll have gasoline coming in and we'll be able to start building build craft we'll be able to start building um those automated artisans that happened Sure, you can. And I'm excited for it. So we we've, we've kind of we've got a new era of a storage system. We have our first electrical device. I think we've made good progress for the day. And I've been just rambling for a little while because I'm tired anyway. So I will see you all on the next time. Good evening, everyone.